Hello and welcome to another Monster Hunter video and today this is MH Geek together with I'm Mido Chan. Yep, um, Mido Chan is not in the screen right now because I would like to show you guys about the new farm upgrade. So I happen to save quite a bit of points, around 12,000. 12, How many do you have, Mido Chan? I have no idea. Probably around 3. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so I'd like to show you guys the final upgrade for the mining point. And the moment the screen comes in and loads and BAM! So you can see that, yep, this is the one on the right, bottom right is the first and then the second, the third on the left and now there's a new one, the fourth one which is all the way at the top. So you can access it by simply climbing up two ladders which is um, quite a hassle actually but well, mining points means more stuff to mine and uh, more precious treasures to hoard. Yeah, so do you have it yet? Yep. Mido chan? Oh, you do? Wow, that's fast. Yeah, long time ago. Wow, someone's <laughs> been, you know, working hard. Yep, I prioritize mining over others. Yep, indeed. Mining is uh, one of the more important resources. It gives you one of the more important resources. So, anyway, what's gonna happen is that Mido chan and I will be doing one of the prerequisite quests to unlock the next key quest, which involves the sand. Which, no, which involves us hunting the Baryov first, and then the Sand Baryov, which is then the key quest. So, we just luck with um, hunting the Baryov, and <laughs> we will see you in a bit when we are taking on the Sand Baryov. So, toodles! Alright, we are back, and after a very gruesome and grueling hunt with the Baryov, we now challenge the Sand Baryov. Let's hope all will be fine. <laughs> so this is actually like, um, if I am not wrong, this is the first subspecies that we'll be hunting, right? Yep, it is. No, uh, wait, no, no. We hunted a purple Ludroth already. Yes? Oh, we did? Oh, we did. Yeah, we did, and the purple Ludroth is a subspecies, so yeah. Right. Hi, not the first, but the second. Anyway, great Jaggi is here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just ignore him, and <clears throat> let's move on. It's getting hot, so get your cold drinks on. And um, I don't remember where does the sand barrier start. I think it might be uh, this one. This one maybe. This way. Uh, 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 nope, he's the other one. Yeah, he's here. Okay. Oh wait, he's flying off. Wow, really. He'll probably be coming here then. I don't know, I'm too far to see his shadow. Yeah, he's definitely coming here. He either he's usually either in area nine or ten. I hear the wings. Yep, he's okay. here. Is he gonna do some fantastic? Nope, sir? cause he hasn't noticed us yet. I just paintballed him. Roar Also, okay, the sand bar off, as you can see has some sort of a whoa. It, Look, look at this, the side of his wings, the spikes. They have this amazing tiger stripe appearance, which I really, really like. Like, look, look at that, check that out. Yeah. Basically, the cars. Oh my gosh, I hate that. Careful. Oh. Yep, so, because there are no ice walls around for him to do, like, you know, the cling on and jump off move that your standard Baryov has, uh, has access to, I mean, he. This guy, he makes, like, a freaking sand tornado on his own and. You know. Makes use of the speed from there. Pretty damn awesome. And um, ooh, yep. So yeah, you gotta watch out for the the whirlwind a lot. It's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with, cause he will use it a lot and strike you like that without you knowing. Right. That was scary. Ah, so he basically has the same move set as. Uh, Barrier off, except that it doesn't apply Ice Blight because, well, we are in the desert. So yeah, actually this is not a very good place to fight him because there's random loss. Uh. But whatever. Oh crap. No, we shouldn't be doing that. Okay, he's not after me. Alright. Where's he going? Oh my gosh! Wow. He's after you. Yeah, I thought he looked at your cat, so I thought he was, he was going after Kony and then like, no, he decided to come for me instead. That, that was a surprise. Okay, so yeah. Another interesting thing about the Sand Baryov is its eyes glow green when it's enraged and not red like 
the regular barrier of Whoa! Alright, I was being greedy there. So yeah, I really I really love the concept of subspecies in uh or variant species or whatever you wanna call them in in um yeah I mean yeah it's the same thing. So okay it's not the same thing, let me get this straight. Especially when Monster Hunter Generations is coming out really really soon, so yeah. So can I explain? Um or you'll do that in your blog post. You can I just don't do that know. in your blog post. Actually not really, I think I'll just, you know ah, fly in the freaking nice way. I'm just gonna see on the ground first. Okay, nope. Oh my gosh, please don't come for me. Alright, so basically in Monster Hunter Generations, which I've already pre-ordered by the way, haha. <laughs> anyway, um they've introduced this a uh, couple of variants to the monster to the to a couple of monsters! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Like for example, there was a there's a stronger what do you call that? Rathalos? Yeah, there's a stronger Rathalos, I, I think it's called Flame King Rathalos or something like that. And then there's a stronger Rathian as well, Poison Queen Rathian or something like that, I can't remember clearly. Um, and there's also like what, Thunder Prince Zinogre and things like that. Pretty cool, so what the... Essentially, they are the same species, but supposedly just stronger individuals. So that, that variant is different from like this variant in which, you know, they are completely different ecologically wise like you will never have um, you know a sand barrier of living in the icy cold tundra and you will never have a, a regular barrier of living in the desert cause that wouldn't make sense but on the other hand the variants that I spoke of earlier they are just like your regular Rathalos and Rathian in, in their own basic environments just that they are just really really strong individuals that have you know taken up some kind of extra um, I wouldn't say ability or blessing or whatnot, but they're just essentially um, would you call that alpha? I don't I don't even know would you call that alpha because it, it makes it, it it sort of means something like they live in a pack or whatnot. So let's just say that this variant <laughs> sorry? Mutation? No, not mutation because they are still the same species. Okay, maybe it's a mutation, but I highly doubt so, but... Sure, uh, it's... Adaptation. Nah, I just, I just feel like... Because the... There have been some... Re not reports, what, what the heck am I saying? There have been some, like, you know... Um, Capcom released information here and there, and then they did mention that... Ouch, the red applause! They did mention that these monsters are actually still the same species. They are unlike the, the subspecies that we have seen so far, so yeah. So I would like they're to believe Yeah, they're just unique individuals. I would like to reiterate that. Unique individuals. So Ah crap, didn't break his No! Phew, that was close. Um So yeah. And I believe there is no subspecies in Monster Hunter Generations because the variants are, you know, supposed to be there to take the its place in terms of the gameplay. Yeah. But well I'm I'm to be honest I'm a bit disappointed by that. I still I'll still like to see the subspecies coming back. So meh. But after all it's still all fun and games, so anyway he's gone over to the next area. Yep. So yeah. Back on topic, the Sand Barrel, um, as aggressive as its cousin, flies around a lot, uses a lot of his uh, wings for flight. What, what am I trying to say? It runs around a lot as well, pounces a lot, a lot like Narga Kuga, tries to get behind you. Yep, quite typical. Very cat like, I would say. Ooh, cut him mid air. Oh, he's gonna use the tornado. Uh, not sure who he's gonna go after, just. Okay. Yep, so he's fatigued. Try and go for his tail. Can't reach for his head. I'm trying to. No! Out! Still not very good with the great sword, as you can see. So, unfortunately. Um, whoa, he's flying away. He's gonna go feast, definitely. So, unfortunately, our dear Middle Chan here. She does not have a 3DS. Why? 
Why is that an unfortunately? I mean, if not, you could play with me and, you know, us like the rest of the community. I'll watch. <laughs> so, <laughs> if that's counted. I don't know. I'm gonna go for his head. You can go for the tail. If okay. I don't miss this. I missed it! But never mind, I broke his fangs anyway. Woo! He hit me. Ah. Uh. Oh! Kony set a trap! Finally in the right place! <laughs> Alright, Leon to the trap, man. Oh. Hey, Baryov! I'm here! Right, good. Come on! Oh, crap. I didn't... Ugh. Oh! Oh, nice! That was fast. That was surprising. So happy. Yes, now time to break his spikes. He's is he still fatigued? He's still fatigued. Let's just abuse that quickly before he gets angry again. Oh wow! Did, did you just break that as well? I did. I think I just tripped. Him. Oh. Did I not? Oh yeah, you just tripped him. Okay, it's fine. I'll no worries. No worries. Oh. He's trying to. Yeah, so he has the same weakness as his his other icy brethren is that when he's exhausted, his um, ice slash sand breath does nothing at all. So it's pretty much the same for almost all monsters actually. Oh, and he's angry. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's going after Kony, I think. Yep. And Kony's oh. coming up for me. Stop it, Kony, go away. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna Oh he's gonna use the win, is he? Oh flinched him. Uh, I realized that I really I'm really not suited to play the great sword. <laughs> like I tend to like chaining hits together, so I have the tendency to keep pressing a button accidentally when I mean to as in like an attack button when I mean to like shift and you know run away. Uh, woo! Ouch, 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 no! Oof. Oh, thankfully, defense, the defense thing kicked in. Where's he going? Oh, he's flying away. Oh, okay. Right, remember to cut his tail. And cooling effect expired. So, yeah. The thing about Sand Baryov is that uh, his weapons. I believe they are like um, Naga's weapons in which they offer you white sharpness at the highest possible upgrade. Only issue is that instead of providing um, affinity, I think they pro provide a bit higher raw damage. So yeah, go for Sand Baroff or Naga is your preference. I guess! Ouch! Ouch! Well, that was weird! Oh nice, you broke, you broke, you broke the, 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 my god I can't even speak properly. You broke the left spike. Ouch, I rolled into that. Ouch. Dumb. Okay, okay, okay. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Right. Come on. Oh! The sword was about to smash on his head. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> you flew. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's flying. He's flying. Woo! Ouch! Holy crap. Yep, so you, as you can see, that was his signature move and the signature moves usually hurt a lot. So yeah. Okay, come on, come on, I'll break your other spike. Would you not go so close to there? Ouch. Right. So, yeah, sand power of His coloration is kinda iffy though, if you ask me. I don't really like it personally. <laughs> like, I would prefer it if it's a bit more a tinge of like lighter orange and yellowish. Or a bit more brownish like Tigerex maybe. So it fits in with like the surroundings a bit more. Like as of now he looks like his this wedded is like not not even wedded, it's like a piece of amber just sticking out of nowhere. I think he's just weird because his face is too red. <laughs> too red. I mean but he have a red face. He's like Oh nice. Nice. He's like, you know, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. 
but you know, but instead he has a very red head instead. Like yes. target me. Or he could serve as warning colors, you know. I mean, he is quite the predator. So but yeah. You will not want people to see you, I guess. Or maybe I don't know. In the desert, the heat it it makes sense for it to be red. Ah, uh, no idea. Burn him. Oh, maybe it's just He's because sunburned. he got sunburned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! Out! Okay, we made a bad joke, he doesn't like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I don't talk about that. Don't we don't talk about that burn. <laughs> sunburn barrio, not sand <laughs> barrio. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Uh, uh, okay. Is he. Nope, he's still enraged. Yep. I thought he went, he was fatigued. Uh. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, get out of the way, sweet. So yeah, basically, he's... For those that, you know, don't really know much about Sand Baryov at least, in terms of fighting him, he's pretty much just like Baryov, except that, you know, bring cold drinks instead of hot drinks because he'll be fighting in the desert. Whoa! That's about it. And when... The, oh, he's limping, that's fast. Wow, the, the Nagakuga weapons are really doing work. Oh, he's angry again. Uh, come on. Don't do he's this. Fly off, right? I don't know, probably. I don't know where he sleeps though, I forgot. Oh no. I just Ugh. My hunter is running out of stamina. No! And he's gone. Oh damn, the paintball ran out. Watch out for the shadow then. This way. Oh, he's going the down there Nowhere. to sleep? <laughs> Where does where does that go? Supply items. I believe he should be Yeah yeah, we have to we have to jump down. Yep, that should be it. Same as where the nibble snuff sleeps. Alright. Just gonna pop a mic seat first before you go down. I've realized that we forgot to use them again. Whatever. I, using them. <laughs> I used one, but that's about it. Right. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> okay, there he is sleeping. Yeah, go do your supercharge. Hurry. All right. Shh, shh, Jackie. Shh. Ha. Right. I missed the second one. I am terrible ah. at this. <laughs> oh my god! Out. This is such a bad play. Yeah, it's so small. It's so hard to fight him. Oh my god! I thought he was coming after me, apparently he went for you. I... Do you want me life powder? I should life powder. Alright, now just go for it! Right, so similarly, once he doesn't have his tail, not that much of a threat for that tail sweep. But still, do be careful of his pounces. <laughs> yeah. He is still a threat. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yep, those are still deadly. Critical! Man, I love the Naga weapons because the criticals look so beautiful when it hits. Oh, he flinched. Come on. I missed! I know! I'm terrible! Oh my god! Oh my god, please. No, not now, not now. Oh my god, I'm stunned. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh dear. Well, you can finish him without me. No, nope, I don't think I can. I'm like so far away. You're so scary. You can do it. I'm scared and I'm alone. Our cats are gone. Uh... Just cats. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just like loot all this free stuff since I'm here. Yeah. I need some rations to run faster as well. In case... Oh. Hurry up Ouch. and get there. Where's my gold drinks? Okay, there. Um, what's the fastest way do I to get there? Um, um, area seven. Then yeah, I should get down through area seven. Okay, got it. Wrong way, wrong way. This way, this way. Area two, seven. Thank God, cat. I'm so gonna die. Really? Wow, the juggy missed me. That was pathetic. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, I brought some flash bombs just in case or so because supply box, free items, yay! Um, where am I supposed to go? This way? Yeah, this way. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming! Right. Hey! Look here! Oh, I missed. Oh, oh my god, I missed Flashed the game. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Uh. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> I'm just waiting here. Yeah. I've been avoiding here for so long. Well, told you to, you know, just kill him. Well, uh, but I learned some new tricks. Like? Like, why can't I cut him? Indigo tasks. Cool. Yeah. I learned some new trick which is like when he's flying and you know he's gonna come after you, Superman dive. That's the safest way. Of course. <laughs> well, you can actually just run towards him as well. That might work, I think. I'm not too sure about that. Okay. Why am I, I finding ice crystals in a freaking desert? <laughs> well, I just got three in a row. Oh, well, okay. it's cold at night. That is true. Well, I can't dispute that, but. But it's the day now, I mean like, what? Never mind. You should find ice water, right? AKA water. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Well, so, this is it. Uh, Sadly, I had to, you know, die at the end. Come on, that, that guy just... Uh, terrible. I'm scared. <laughs> yep, so he's equally ferocious, and not to mention now that we're in high rank, monsters are really getting really really strong and fast and angry yeah now what's wrong with them <laughs> always angry alright I got two oh my god I got two pathetic charms again right so there we go send barrel training school send barrel training alright um, new quest blah 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 and this is it for this week's episode so I hope you've enjoyed do you know do the socials like, comment, subscribe if you really want to. I mean, I would really appreciate it. And for those of you that, the loyal viewers, yes, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. So, any last words, Mido-chan? Eh, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm Edgeek and... I'm Mido-chan. Signing, signing out. out.